Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we are working on Voyage Beneath the Sea. And um, I just love this page. So we've got two flaps on each side and then a pocket and a belly band. So there's a lot going on on this page. But I think it's super fun. And I'm stalling because I have misplaced my um, pick tool. I don't see where I put it. Here it is. It's just hiding. Okay, so we're going to start with two flaps, one for the left side, one for the right side. Here's our pocket page. The pocket page is 9 inches tall by 11 inches wide. And these two flaps are the same, 5 and 3 quarter by 9, 5 and 3 quarter by 9. We are going to um, inset... No, we're not. These are going to get flush, uh, installed flush with the edge of... The pocket page. I gotta double check. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now I'm gonna dry fit these real quick and make sure they are the same height as the pocket page itself. It is. Okay, and these are just gonna get installed flush, which is super easy. No measuring, no fuss, no muss. Just corner to corner. Hmm. It sounds like the yard guys are outside. I'm sorry. There's going to be some noise in the background. It was uh, raining on their normal day, and so my schedule's off. Their schedule's off. Okay, same thing on the other side. Hopefully I'll be done with most of this recording before they're too close. And there we go. So we have a left and right flap. Now we're gonna do the same thing one more time, a left and a right flap. These are one inch smaller. So these are four and three quarter by nine. Four and three quarter by nine, you're gonna score half inch on the four and three quarter side. They're gonna get installed center on top of this flap, which because these are an inch smaller means they're basically a half inch off this edge. So last time I put a center line on the flap and a center line on this flap and lined it up. This time I'm gonna show you an alternate method which is to put a, a half inch mark on the top and bottom of your flap and then use that as your guide. So it's gonna come in a half inch and a half inch. We're gonna do that on both sides. So it's just a different way. Uh, there's two different, you know, multiple ways of doing it, but I showed you uh, how to use the center line and this time we're just gonna come in a half inch. And of course, this is easy because uh, it is a half inch. When it's centered, it's a half inch on either side. If it was some odd number, it might be a little bit harder to obtain. Okay, so we're going to line it this corner and this corner with those two tick marks. And everybody has a preferred method. I usually go for the center line, but this works too. So I like to put one corner down, use it sort of as my pivot point, and come down. So that's in. Okay, so now we have the double flap. We're going to do that one more time on this side. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, now we're going to open these and come to the large flap. So when I say the large flap pocket, this is the flap I'm talking about, the wider of the two. Okay, each of these is going to get a pocket installed. And I'm going to dry fit it real fast. Yep, looks good. <clears throat> Okay, now let me get my contrast sheet out. So we're on the, the flap we lay down first. There's the small flap, large flap, and we're just going to go edge to edge. Okay. 
There we go. We're going to repeat that on this side. And I apologize, but I, for some reason I put these pockets together different than I normally do. And uh, most of this is done before I sit down. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. All right, so this is gonna go edge to edge and the pockets this way. The score line is on the edge of the flap. There we go. Now we have two inserts for these pockets and they are four, and I'll double check, four and a half by eight and a half, four and a half by eight and a half. So you're gonna have one on each side. There we go. Okay, and then there's one more um, element. And we're gonna put a belly band in here, okay? So I'm going to close both of my flaps And I'm going to try to center my belly band off the gap that's actually here rather than center it off the pocket page. I think you just get a better result. So I'm just going to tap on the center of it, have it hold it in place while I open the flaps. There we go. Okay, now we're just going to let it fall into place. There we go. The belly band is one inch by 10, one inch by 10. You're gonna score a half inch on either end of it. And that is your belly band. This is very magnet intensive because this is going to be a very heavy page. So we're going to have magnets on the pocket. And then on the top flap, like so. And then we're gonna have another set of magnets here. Remember, we're gonna have an insert behind the belly band. So that becomes critical. The extra set of magnets becomes critical because you're gonna have a lot of um, weight there. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, and then on the inside, inside the insert, we have um, an actual uh, insert. And I don't know if I told you. I think I told you the. It's an eight by ten. Eight by ten. Oops. There we go. I happen to line up all my magnets because. It just worked out that way. You don't have to if you don't want to. It does feel a little bit bulky, but I'm okay with that. So this is an eight by 10 insert that's gonna go right here. And there's one, uh, so you'll you'll have designer paper at least on one side and a photo. Um, but potentially you could have photos on both sides and designer paper on both sides. So it's something, that's why I added this additional magnet here. Instead of trying to get away with three magnets on each side, it's going to take four on each side. So a lot of magnets for this page, but I think it's a really cool page. Got your inserts here, and then we got another large insert here. So I think it, it makes for a nice page. So, okay, everybody, the next time we get together, we'll be decorating. See you soon.
Hey everybody, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on Voyage Beneath the Sea and we're on page eight and we're gonna start decorating the fun stuff. Okay, so uh, you can see I've got some of my papers laid out here. And let me see. I actually think, yeah, it's cut apart this way. I like to, if it if I can, and there's a continuous pattern, I like to try to, to install it that way. It doesn't always work out, but sometimes it does. Okay, I'm going to start by um, inserting or uh, applying these two little edge strips. And I believe I've got everything inked, so this should go pretty quickly. <clears throat> it's been super, super windy here for the last couple of days. And uh, my sinuses are not happy about that at all. <laughs> <clears throat> and we're coming into um, really uh, the allergy season here in San Diego in spring. We are surrounded in this neighborhood by a ton of pine trees. And um, when they start to pollinate, boy, that's that's a challenge. <laughs> Anyways, I hope everybody is doing well. Um, it's been a while. I've been a little slow to get this book out. Um, I'm happy with how it's turning out. It's... Uh, it's a nice big album, and it will definitely accommodate your your 8x10 photos, should you have any. <clears throat> this isn't going to go in as well as I'd like. So this is actually a little bit smaller than this side, so I'm trying to slide this paper slightly underneath the flap. So I'm trying to lift it a little bit so this will slide in. I think that'll be easier than trying to trim this, further trim down this piece of paper because it's already so small to handle. So I'm just trying to get enough lift here that I can squish that paper in there. And I'm gonna put some glue right here to, to help that process, to help it slide a little. <clears throat> Wish me luck. Yeah, that's working out a little bit better. It's a little too high up. Come down a little. It's not going in the way I want it to, but I think I've, that's about all I can do. Otherwise, I'm going to um, wind up tearing my paper. All right, so I'm pushing that in a little bit. Okay, well, the good news is this is, a, no, it's not. This is the outside. That's the spine side. I was thinking I was on page one, but we're on page eight. All right, well, there it is. It's not perfect. Ugh, you know, that stuff drives me nuts, too. Okay, so one of the ways to, uh, to work around that, um, and I've done this in other um, builds, is to put your strip down and then add your flap <clears throat> so you don't have to worry about tucking it under because it's there to begin with. And I've, I've done it both ways. Um, at the time that I did the flap design, I did not know what I was going to put here. So I didn't do it at, at that time. But sometimes I do. And if I do, that's easier. It's an easier process. So for you, um, I, I never know if you guys are building as you're watching or if you watch it and then go back and build. But if, uh, if you watch it and then go back and build, I would advise putting these strips in and then adding your flap. So I think you'll have, it'll be a little less frustrating for you and you might get a better result and you should get a better result, <clears throat> a more even result. <clears throat> if that really bothers me, um, what I might come back to and do is use my X-Acto knife and try to trim a little bit piece off. <clears throat> but I'm not going to do that with you guys. Um, there's no reason for you to sit and watch that. Okay. <clears throat> One of the things I like about this size um, is re you really do have a lot of photo space on all your flaps. So a lot of times in the smaller scale books, um, 
you know, you, you're, if you wanted to have a bifold, um, sometimes the panels get so small, you really have to significantly um, crop down your photos to, to fit. So that's one of the things I like about this. I think it's going to be, you know, you can still get some fairly large photos here. This is four and a quarter, so you could do a four by six uncropped, which is pretty nice. Okay, so that's in. Okay, so I've got, I trimmed this. So um, one of the sheets has all these strips that you can cut apart. You know, they've got words, they've got patterns. And I've decided to use um, this for the pocket here. I thought it was really pretty. So we'll have on the page one, we had done some color blocking here. We'll do a single strip because it looks color blocked already just by virtue of these three stripes. So I'm pretty happy with that. <clears throat> I'm going to use my contrast sheet here in the pocket so I can see my edges a little better. <clears throat> I forgot to plug my uh, thumb in. My dog is sleeping behind me. I just spotted her. She was so quiet I didn't hear her come in. I'm lifting it because there's a magnet here and a magnet behind it and it's kind of stacked up so I just I'm lifting it to make sure that there's good adhesion across. <clears throat> Need to trim these. I just I'm not sure. <clears throat> nope, it looks okay. But for whatever reason, I did not ink them. So we will do that real quick. I'm just about due for some some more uh, ink. It's getting a little dry on me.
forgot. I gotta ink it real quick. <clears throat> Sometimes if you let your ink pads rest for a little while, um, they'll be juicy again. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm swapping back and forth. They're actually the same color. One's just older than the other. A little bit drier. And I am using uh, mahogany, if you're interested. <clears throat> always good to have uh, some white wet ones um, and not to be too wet right <laughs> otherwise you could potentially warp your paper okay so we've got our pockets um, are done we've got our flaps done so there's two inserts um, and I haven't figured out what paper I want for that yet and we still need to do the liner uh, for the pocket so I haven't picked those patterns yet so let's go ahead and open it I have chose this pattern which is going to go here and I have inked it so it's going to go right on the belly band There we go. And then this is an eight by 10, it's very large insert that's gonna go here. So we still need to work on the inside spread and then um, also identify some paper that's gonna go here. And I'm not gonna pick that pattern until I know what color the inserts are gonna be because I wanna make sure the whole thing coordinates and flows nicely. Um, but at the moment I'm leaning toward um, it being uh, probably a blue here, but I'm not sure. So when we get back, I'll have um, the pattern for the insert, the liner, and then we'll start working on the inside as well. So that is the main parts, or the A, certainly the whole, the A's are done, the A sides are done, so you know what the, the page looks like. It's pretty. I think I am going to try to trim that. I'll let you guys know how I do in the walkthrough. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. I've lined up the rest of the papers um, for page eight, so we'll go ahead and uh, get started. I, I may have to do a little bit of trimming, but I think I've, I've got everything uh, pretty much ready. So here is what we're gonna do on the inside. Isn't this gorgeous? So this is gonna be our eight by 10 photo mat. This is gonna be the large liner uh, that's gonna go actually underneath this belly band. And then here's our left and right flanks. And let's go ahead and start by putting these in. And they are inked and it looks like they are ready to go. So. Yay! <clears throat> this is pretty too, but... <clears throat> oh, I hate it when I do this, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the, the polka dots. Sometimes I sit down and I have one plan and then I look at it the other way and I'm like, hmm, maybe. I think part of it is because um, I do some of my planning in the dining room. And then I come in here and I have real good lighting and then I start to change my mind. <laughs> the lighting in my dining room is not very good. So I see it in a new light, so to speak. But I am gonna stick with the original with the polka dots. I could have trimmed that just a little bit more. It's gonna be very tight to the hinge, but it's gonna close, okay. If you get too close to your score line, um, sometimes your paper will want to buckle. Um, that's why I'm concerned about it. That's why I was sort of testing it, because if it started to buckle on me, I would have lifted it real quick and let it dry and then trimmed it down. <clears throat> okay, 
I will do a better job of dry fitting this one to make sure that we are definitely out of the score line, and we are. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, now this is going to be a little bit tricky because we have to slide it underneath the belly band. So I, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it under the belly band before I apply glue and then I'm going to lift it and apply glue. And the reason I'm doing that is because it has to slide across these two magnets which have tape on them. So that's going to add to some of the complexity. So I think um, it's best to slide it through dry and then add our glue. There we go. Now, because we are laying this in the center, one of the nice things is as as an insert, it'll. Oops, I'm glad I looked at that more closely. This actually has a direction. Um, this will help guide the insert um, around these magnets because it's going to smooth things out for us. All right. Now, one of the things it's a large piece, so we got a lot to cover. And we're going to need to work fast so that we can wiggle it into place. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm probably going to use a little extra glue so it stays wet longer. <clears throat> and then I'm going to work as fast as I can. Pretty good. Got some extra glue there. <clears throat> oh, a little bit over here as well. Okay, pay attention. Um, there are little faces in here. So you wanna make sure you get those uh, right side up. Doesn't that look nice? Okay, and this is gonna be our insert for the belly band. Again, the panel is eight by 10. what we're starting with. I wasn't very happy with that border, so I just straightened it out a little bit. I think it looks better. Okay, this is going to go underneath the belly band. Now, you, I don't know if I'm going to have enough paper to do front and back, but you can do, um, I mean, we'll see as we get toward the end of the book whether or not there's enough room, but there's your 8 by 10 photo right there, right? And then we've got this, these nice big panels. So um, when we last left, we still needed to put the liner here. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna continue the pattern. And then I'm gonna do what I'm planning on doing, and I, I guess I walked in here without my inserts, is um, I think I'm gonna pull the polka dots back in for the inserts. Haven't made up my mind. The, the pocket inserts here. Oh. <clears throat> okay. 
two. One more. <clears throat> Okay, let's walk through it again. Okay, so we've got this, this, we'll have two inserts. It's gonna open again. And then we have this nice big eight by 10 insert here. And if I have extra paper, I might do something a little bit different here, or add, not different, but add to it. Um, but I have to get through the rest of the uh, album before I know if I've got enough paper to, to do what I have in my mind. Anyway, um, that is it for, well, until uh, I got to go get my inserts and then we'll get those covered and those uh, that that will be the end of this page so I'll be right back hey okay, here we go I trimmed these out I ran off and trimmed these out I I'm spread out between too many rooms right now um <laughs> I just noticed I got in here without my ink Ugh. so these are going to be the inserts that are going to go uh, right in here and I'm gonna pause and do a break real quick because I gotta go get my ink sorry about that guys <laughs> it's like we're on the one yard line I'm killing you okay so we're gonna get these inked up and then get the place and you'll notice I did a decorative corner on this this is the the stub um, is what they call it uh, and I just wanted to do something a little bit different and I think there's gonna be some other inserts where I do this as well can tell I'm working too hard to get ink on but it's time for a new pad <clears throat> I'll have to uh, reach out and get something from Julie <clears throat> see why I try to do my ink before we get together because it just takes so much time and it's not it's not like anybody needs to learn how to do that right okay I'm gonna set Sorry, set this aside. So I got a little workspace here. This will make um, it pulls the dots in, and then it's a nice contrast against the orange. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. up on something. There we go. I felt it shift. Okay, it is a snug fit, so just uh, just be aware of that. They fit in there pretty snugly. That is it. Isn't that nice? Isn't that fun? I think this turned out very nice. Okay, that is it for page eight. Okay, well, I'll be back soon.